Today we're going to discuss money management. Now most of you aren't going to know what money management is because you're not traders. You got attracted by the moves in Bitcoin uh, the past year after the move up in the summer and you know you don't really know anything about trading. Um, even most signal providers and owners of signal groups fit in the same category. They're knobs too. They don't know anything about trading. I talk to them for five minutes about trading and I automatically know this. But to us who have been around a long time and have been traders for a long time, money management is probably about half of what we do. Uh, that's outside of our entry and exits and the technical knowledge and fundamentals of, of the marketplace and price action and all the other things that we do. Um, this is the most important thing that we use because we have to be able to grow our profits and it's important that we manage our money just like when you go to the bank you manage your money correctly right um, your long-term consistency trumps short-term intensity and that means that you guys seeking quick profits very fast usually are going to blow your accounts because of the fact that your long-term consistency isn't there um, how many trades you make over time and the percentage of them working out not just short bursts here and there, um, matter more because of the fact that you want to compound your profits and the bigger your account becomes, the more you make over time. Okay, So you want the long-term viability of what you're doing. And as using money management as a trader, you want to reduce your losses when things are bad, like right now in the bear market, and increase your profits when they're good. Uh, that's what money management will help you do. Now, a good source for learning this um, is a book by Ryan Jones called The Trading Game. So I'm going to recommend that you guys go look that up um, online. And uh, you can see some of the excerpts in here uh, about the, the book. It's, it's a really great book. It's one of the few that I actually think is worth reading, like uh, Mark Douglas's The Disciplined Trader. That's another one that's more about psychology and the way that you deal with processing information and, and uh, your thinking and beliefs of market, you know, the markets. Uh, other than that, there are many formulas I could use that will give me different curves, yields. Now, each of them can give me different results. Some will go up and down very quickly. Some will be aggressive. Some will be conservative. Some will bounce around and be like a roller coaster ride, depending on what I use. But all of them have a formula and a plan behind them um, because there are three key things to this. Number one, you need positive expectancy. The majority of trades have to win. And then from there, you have to use the MM method and the percentages per trade. And then number three, follow the percentages like a robot. Okay? Those are the three key elements of this. The formula outside of the formulas is what I'm going to state. Now, there are two separate types of uh, core money management formulas. And that is symmetrical, where you're making the same bet size. And as your account balance grows, you go over and you increase based on a percentage of that account balance. And then asymmetrical. Asymmetrical is more like where you're playing a video game and you go by levels. So you set a specific level of which you grow your balance. Now I'm going to give you a very easy to follow methodology. And it's based on geometric progression. So we're going to start with, say, $25. And it doesn't matter. Uh, $25, you could add zeros and $250, $2,500, $25,000. 250,000, depending on your, your bank size or your account size that you want to risk personally. And everybody's going to be different. But I'm just giving you the very basic uh, so you can have an understanding of how these levels grow. So at level one, we're at $25. We're betting between $1 and $2 a trade, which is basically between 4 and 8%. Now, the nice thing is with BitMEX trading and um, the pro signal providers that you have, uh, in the group, they're offering you leveraged trades of which your risk versus reward, which is completely different than money management, um, is askew. Basically, 
uh, they might take a 30 or 15 percent loss to make 30 to uh, 70 percent in gains. Uh, so the gains are uh, usually often bigger than the losses. Uh, so that works in your favor over time. Um, so if you're betting this amount and you take a few months to get to level two, let's say three months to get to level two, and you take your $25 and you turn it to 50, and then you take another three months by following these trades to get to level three. Um, and then your account size has gone from one to two dollars a trade to two to four, all the way up to four to eight. And before you know it, know it, you're up three times what you originally started with in money. And then from there, there are some methods that I follow that you can see right there, of which I'm withdrawing money as I go up to certain levels. Now, as I progress and I get to level three, you're going to see that I do something here. And this is an optional thing. This is something that I do is I take out my original investment, which is 25% at this time. 25% of 100 is $25. So I'm then taking out this $25. And remember, I, I structured this off of a video game logic. We're playing by levels asymmetrically where I have what? This is an extra man. So if something goes terribly wrong, I can then start all over again with my original investment. So this is a buffer and protection for me. Okay, so you see the logic that I'm applying there? Now, um, what happens when you do that, you're geometrically going back 50% from level three back to level two. All right, so you're taking out the 25, you're down to $75. Now, you can't keep going until you get to level three again. Uh, that amount, you're going back to two to four a trade until you hit um, the four to eight when you hit level three again. But this time, when you hit that level, you just keep going. You don't take out the extra man because of the fact that you've already did it the first time, or else you'd be in a constant cycle of taking out the extra um yeah, which I, I guess it could be applicable, but it's not something I would do. Um, so anyway, you keep going, and you go from one level to the next, and you're going from 4 to 8 to 8 to 16, 16 to 32, and before you know it, you're all the way up to level 10, where your original $25 is now worth like 12000 And you see the compounding effects of this over time, what this does? And that's what trading is really about. So I'm going to go more on this in other videos, but I'm going to tell you no money management is bad. You can end up like Batman here, who one minute is saving the world and is happy and everything, and next minute he blows his account and ends up drunk and passed out in an alleyway behind 7-Eleven late at night. Uh, if you follow money management, you're more than likely going to be like this guy. In top of the world, feeling letting the sun shine on you because you've got a plan and you're headed in the right direction, and that's what you want. Uh, why use money management? It gives you a path, number one, to follow and grow with. Number two, it gives you rules to help protect your capital. Number three, it is a plan that forces you uh, to focus on an objective, and if you ever hear me talk, being an objective trader is the most important thing. You focus on your objectives and to help you grow and make money over time. Now, here you have it. Uh, you know, number one, we need positive expectancy. The providers that you have on VCN are going to win most of the time and they're going to make more money than they lose. So we're going to use that and then we're going to apply the money management that I've showed you here today. And I want you just to, today to just comprehend what I'm stating. That's basically it, okay? We are not gamblers. We have a plan and an objective, and we're looking to execute on it. We're not some guy that lost all his money in Vegas, and he still wants to get laid, and is hoping for a miracle. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but anyway, I want you to look at this and, and picture it in your mind. Just take a moment. Freeze the frame in the, in the video and look at how the levels progress 
And I want you to think about that, okay? Um, other than that, you know, I, I want you to understand you can adjust the risk you take per trade. Some people are going to go over the 4 to 8%. Some are going to go to 20 I, I know what you're going to do. When we did the study on the site, 80% of you wound up being Sir Rect a lot, which is account blowers. So that tells me something. You're going to be using more leverage. Now, hopefully, uh, you'll get good trade runs and you won't lose. You know, you'll make more than you lose. So you'll do well over time with verified crypto news for the, the trading for the other traders who use the BitMEX trades. Using money management as well as my ability to trade, my knowledge of using technical analysis over time, and I increased the balance again and again and again. And as you can see, go up, you can see my progression over the months and it keeps going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And now I'm all the way up to close to 10 times what I originally started with. Um, and that's because of the money management along with my ability to control risk and uh, knowledge of the marketplace. And if you want results like this over time, uh, you have to put in the time to get the knowledge. I'm not going to give it to you. Uh, you have to earn it. And uh, I'll show you what's possible and I'll give you the formulas and I'll give you the pathway to follow, but you have to walk it. And, uh, you know, so keep that in mind. And again, I'll do more videos that explain the exact intricacies and different formulas you can use to keep growing. Because you don't have to use one, there are many out there. And uh, for different market uh, volatility and structures, you could apply different forms of money management. I want you to think that way as well. But anyway, this is just a brief introduction to show you what's possible. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.